All right, Shalom Israel. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakwadash, the Bwanis, the Apostles, and the Elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to Lek Abdeb, doing his work of faith and labor of love, truth, and sincerity. All right, and um, I wanted to get into a quick topic based upon <clears throat> what you see here on the screen. Now, um, pretty much it all started from um, a football player by the name of Deshaun Jackson, who was recently um, traded or whatever to the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. Well, back to the Philadelphia Eagles. And um, <clears throat> he made a statement, you know, uh, concerning, you know, uh, the so-called Jews and uh, Hitler, you know, and trying to make a comparison uh, with the current times and things in which, you know, we've been suffering as a people, you know, and... Um, so, you know, Stephen A. Smith, he uh, made his commentary, you know, and um, and this is on um, social media, Instagram. So he made his commentary. And then here you have, you know, uh, this brother here, uh, Trey, he try, try, he will, or however you say his name. And he says, um, the original Jews are black. Uh, you missing the point. All right. So all Stephen A. Smith was basically saying uh, within the video was pretty much that that he didn't have to mention Hitler, that he didn't have to mention, you know, uh, th certain things, you know, uh, to get his point across. And then um, then another he went uh, the uh, Deshaun Jackson, he made an apology, you know, after the fact. And then you had the, uh, the former basketball player. um Steven Jackson, you know, he doubled down on what he said and he said that he fully agreed, you know, so that's what brought this to this point for Stephen A. Smith to have to speak on it and, you know, now get into this comment. So, uh, Trey He Will says, uh, the original Jews are black, you missing the point. So you see there's 148 other messages going down. I didn't bother, you know, see what everybody else had to say. I just wanted to get to the point. Other matter, because you know you had various comments. People are saying, oh, "Where'd you get that from?" And you don't know what you're talking about. Such and such and such and such. So, you know the normal stuff that that Jake do. You know the normal stuff, right? So, um, it says, "Uh, no, you are missing the point." At Trey, he will. It's not about who the original Jews are. <clears throat> it's about the fact that you don't need to bring that up at this time if you're if you're an NFL player. Because you knowing, uh, you know the fallout coming. Is that topic going to get folks to address federal legislation to eradicate violence versus unarmed black men by police? Is that subject going to provoke folks to address black economic empowerment, create more opportunities, etc.? Because that's what we're talking about right now via all these protests. And anything that takes us away from that is nothing that is nothing but a distraction period so now based upon the context in which uh Trey he will um made this comment towards Stephen A Smith's uh video you know it was out of context but you know hey it's still all in the spirit that he missed this cuz overall Stephen A Smith is missing the point and now overall he shows that he's missing the point you know of the overall spectrum of the world the society who we are as a people and why these things are happening by this comment in which he stated why because he's heavily engulfed within this society you know he's up there on the on a major platform you know espn and he has major uh how do you say nowadays you know a uh, clout you know within the society and people really respect the thing his opinions on various topics but he's clearly missing the point here because he's saying that it's not about who the original Jews are. Now, in context, correctly to what he's talking about, he's right. But overall, he's wrong because that's what it's about at the end of the day. Because if we, if we, and primarily in this case, if he was to recognize truly who we are as a people, the rest of what he said toward the end of the statement would be completely out of the window. Because you would know that at the end of the day, it's nothing that we can truly do within the society to get to a, a, a point in where we're supposed to be. Because what? The Lord destined us to be 
here in America as slaves, you know. But we have the future world to come. This is the so-called white man's world currently because him saying all of this, you know, is that topic going to get folks to address federal legislation and eradicate to eradicate violence and unarmed black men by police? Is that subject going to provoke folks to address black economic empowerment? What empowerment? What is really going to be done? Esau is always going to keep things in the way it is and it's going to get worse. You can see it by the by everything that's going on now. You know, create more opportunities, etc. Because that's what we're talking about right now via all these protests. And anything that takes us away from that is nothing is nothing but a distraction, period. So he's saying that us knowing who we are basically because he's ignorant to the fact saying that that's a distraction from the more important the, the so-called more important topics at hand, which is trying to get economic empowerment and stop violence against us. Hey, the Lord set all of this up, man. It's supposed to be going down like this, you know? The Lord set these things up, right? Um, <clears throat> us, getting, uh, us getting killed and so on and so forth. Hey, because our people have to be made an example of, and these examples are uh, ring out through the scriptures to show that everything is through the most high and everything goes through the most high, man. You know, it's uh, Psalm 68 and um, uh, 20 says, He that is our power is the power of salvation. And unto our power, the Lord belong the issues from death. You know, so the Lord is putting these various things into play, you know. And also when you go to the book of, uh, what I'm thinking about, um, The book of Amos 3, and um, I, I start at 3 and 3. Can uh, can two walk together except they be agreed? The nature of the so-called white man versus the nature of us as Israelites is completely different. We can never be agreed. We can never walk together within a society ever. Esau wasn't meant <laughs> to, to walk side by side with anybody. He is the thief. He is the murderer. He's the destroyer. He, he is the harbinger of death. You know, that's what he was destined for. So nobody, no matter who you are, no matter what so-called nationality, you cannot walk together with the so-called white man because he's always going to seek the upper hand because that is his nature. The Lord created him as the vessel for destruction. And we are <laughs> the vessels of righteousness, man. You know, uh, verse four. Will a lion roar in the forest when he have no prey? Will a young lion cry out, cry out of his den if he have taken nothing? Can a bird fall in a snare upon the earth where no gin is for him? Shall one take up a snare from the earth and have taken nothing at all? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? So the Lord is clearly telling you that I put these things into play. I put these things into play, right? But Stephen A. Smith can't get it because why? He's not a man of the Lord. He don't have no knowledge of these things. Maybe if these people would actually take time to give the Lord some, some credits and, and look into certain things, maybe they'll have a better understanding. They may not still at the end of the day spew what they truly feel or, or, or the, the actual knowledge in which they know upon television because they know you know what I mean? That'll cost them their bread. You know, they know that at the end of the day. But, hey, we know the truth. That's why verse 7 says what? Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Okay? So that's what this is all about at the end of the day. You know, that's what it all boils down to, man. You know, us knowing the truth of who we are and why these things are happening, man. You know, that's what it all boils down to. Because if you get the proper scope of that, then what else is there to really look into? What else truly matters? If we know what's going down at the end of the day, we know what the society is coming to. We know that it's not getting better. We know that it's only going to get worse. We know that we're going to be forced. Uh, um, Lisa was going to try to force the market to beast the RFID chip on us. We know that martial law is going to fully be set in place. This is a, a, a medical martial law right now, so to speak. You know, but people still have the liberties and still have the freedoms where you could still do certain things. You know, just the average everyday things and what you go through or, or, or just the, the most common liberties that you that you would normally do. They're restricted to a certain degree, you know, just your, your casual liberties, you know. So this is a uh, wisdom, wisdom of Solomon five and one. Then shall the righteous man 
stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. <laughs> so, hey, our people were, are standing in boldness. You know, the true boldness is, that our people have is within the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to stand up to the so-called white man. People think that they bold, but really they're doing all this for nothing right now, you know? But everything in which Esau's doing shows in, in the lengths and the information that people are getting into now, and now that the climate is so hot, people can clearly see that they've never made no account of the labors and in the, in the things in which we've done within the society. And you're not meant to get no credit within the society because this is the, the so-called white man's heaven and this is uh, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American uh, man's hell, man. That's what this all boils down to at the end of the day, you know? So why is our people still out here, you know, trying to uh, uh, be hand in hand with the so-called white man when that's not possible, man? It is not possible, you know? People still haven't learned. No matter what you do, you can do nothing to gain any ground with the so-called white man. Just like case in point with the whole um, Washington Redskins uh, renaming of the team. They know that it's a Redskins is a derogatory term. They didn't. And, and years ago, the owner said that he's not changing the name. Nothing happened. But now since certain sponsors and things are, are threatening to pull money from the, the Washington Redskins, now he's willing to change uh, their mind. Why? Because Esau only cares about what his dollar, his riches, you know, and that's all that boils down to him, man. All right, so this is um, Isaiah 13 and 14. Um, and it shall be as a chaste roe and, and as a sheep that no man take up. They shall every man turn to his own people and flee every one to his own land. Every one that is found shall be thrust through and every one that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. So us trying to join up hands with the so-called white man, mixing and mingling, how we've been doing has brought us nothing but destruction and it will continue to bring us destruction. And ultimately in the end, if you believe in any equality, you believe in that we're supposed to team up with them, do this and do that. Like we all going to be one big happy family. You sadly mistaken. And thus saith the Lord, you are going to fall by the sword, man. You know, the scriptures clearly say it's time for us to arise and wake out of sleep because now it is high time, man. It's a, it's a higher time than ever. And if you're not fully aware what's going on, you're going to get caught up, man. You know, through the spirit and power of your help, we've woken up. So therefore, we give out the truth. We give out the information so that our people have it out there. And then you got brothers like brother, the brother um, from the screenshot, you know, Trey Will, whether he's in a camp or not, regardless, he knows the truth. He's putting things out there to give other people reactions or other people information to look into. That's why the Lord said, well, you shall have no cloak for your sins. And that's it, you know. So, um, you know, with that, you know, I just want to tap in this topic real quick. So, um, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushah, Ba'ashim Kakwadash, the Buanas of the Apostles and the Elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to look out there, doing this work of faith and labor of love and truth and sincerity. Shalom.